guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, today we're going to give you guys, or I'm going to give you guys some basic sort of old school tips on how to interpret and how to read and how to use your sonar unit, just your 2D sonar unit. Um, you know, you guys that follow the channel, you know my position on live scope and down imaging and side imaging and all that stuff that costs, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. Um, I think there's a lot of interest out there for guys like myself that basically just use 2D sonar. You know, two years ago when I, you know, when I fished on the Bassmaster uh, open circuit, you know, I finished 13th in the points uh, for the whole season, out of the entire season. Probably would have won the points title if I hadn't lost the fish that I did. And every single bass that I caught was with 2D sonar, just like that. I never caught a single bass with live scope down imaging, side imaging. And I want to give you guys some simple, basic 101 info on this 2D sonar because it's basically all you need, guys. I'm telling you right now, you don't have to go out and buy live scopes and down imaging and side imaging and 360 and live target and all that stuff. You can't even, and then it's obsolete two years from now. Just an old school 2D sonar is all you need. And I'm gonna give you guys some just simple, simple uh, tips on how you can effectively use it in your fishing. So here we'll talk a little hey bit guys, about first it. First thing we're gonna talk about is your settings here. Now I keep this really, really simple. What I do here is I go into my settings here and you can see the only two that I'm concerned about is my sensitivity and my chart speed. The other two, I just usually go with factory sets on there. The sensitivity, uh, all you wanna really focus in on the sensitivity is you, you just wanna get a good feel for the, you know, just whatever's out there, the fish. So for, say for example, see this right here, this is a, this is probably a catfish or a carp. Now watch what I do if I reduce the sensitivity uh, you lose that. Now, if you if you bring that sensitivity back up, you can see see it taking shape again. So you want to adjust that to where you get a good reading. Reading that's usually like 14 for me, something like that. Now the other one is the uh, chart speed. You know, I got the chart speed on five right here, guys. The chart speed. What you need to remember on that, the chart speed needs to be the same. Uh, setting is how fast you're going. So for say for example, mine is set on number five right now. So if I'm idling five miles an hour, that's a good setting. It gives you a good accurate reading. You know, if I'm idling at three miles an hour, you know, I'll, I'll knock it back to three or if I'm up to seven miles an hour, I'll just uh, bring it up to that. So make sure that, that this is a really, this is probably your most critical setting to get the accurate read out. So just keep that charge speed the same as your uh, depth, the speed. Basically what I'm looking for on my 2D sonar, I'm looking for any type of irregular bottom features. Yeah, I'll look for fish like here, like you can see some fish here. It'll show bait fish really good. I don't have a bait fish school here. But the thing that I'm looking for is like for some subtle different bottom features. Now we're gonna be coming up, it's gonna be getting a little bit shallower here and I'll show you what it looks like. But this is basically how I fish right here. I'm, I'm looking for depth changes in the water. I pay attention to like if any rock, rock piles. You can see right there, there's a fish right there. That's probably like a little stump I'm gonna imagine or something. There's a fish right next to that stump. And a 2D sonar will accurately give you all this information. You know, there's some smaller fish right there. See how good it shows, you know, just a smaller group of fish. Those could be white bass, they could be crappie, you know, a lot of different species there. But pay close attention to, you know, just any irregular features at the bottom. And another thing about it is how you tell a soft bottom from a hard bottom. It has to do with um, the color palette right here. Now, for example, if you've got a lot of red right here, like I see red or blue, that's an indication of a soft bottom. If you have, say for example, see the yellow here? If the yellow was this much, uh, where the red's at, say you had this, say, say the yellow was switched out with the red, that would be an indication of a hard bottom. A hard bottom, you have a lot of yellow line right here, and a softer bottom, uh, you got blue or red like it is here. So this is an indication of a soft bottom right here. But guys, see how accurate the, the modern 2D sonar draws? It draws every fish out that you have. You can see big fish with it. You can see everything you need to see. There you go, guys. That's just a basic 101 sort of a tutorial on using 2D sonar. Like I said, don't get intimidated by the, thing, the fact that you think you got to have all the latest live scope and live target and 360s. You don't need that to catch bass. All you need is a good 2D sonar unit and it'll do about anything that you need to do. Yeah, you can refine it with some other stuff like that, 
but day in and day out, you'll be just as good with that. So anyway, I hope that kept it simple for you guys and maybe explained it a little bit more. So we'll talk to you later too.